So in this way, we can also write the numbers by using insert text icon. So the, and we can also write uh, charges like positive and negative charges by using this insert text option. Positive. You want to extend this structure a little bit and positive charge. The next icon is uh, insert chem icon. It is used to write the chemical formulas. So to write the reagents, mainly we use this icon to write the reagents on uh, reaction arrows. For example, initially it will show water molecule. So double click on it, place the cursor over here, delete by clicking on the backspace in the keyboard, delete H2O. Now I'd like to write the sodium borohydrate, NaBH4. So in this way, we can write uh, chemical formulas of a uh, reagents. The next icon is a uh, delete icon. So if you want to delete this NaBH4, just click on this delete icon. It will get deleted. The next icon is bring selection to front and bring selection to back. So these icons are useful in drawing the Newman projections. The next icon is uh, group the selected shape. If you want to group a selected shape, we use this icon. The next icon is uh, ungroup ungroup into separate shapes. The next icon is save drawing icon. So if you want to, uh, when I, whatever the drawing you draw, just if you want to save the drawing, just I'm drawing this benzene structure, right? Just if you want to click this save option, it will ask you to give the name. So for example, if I want to write benzene here, NZ and click save. So it is saved and it will goes to saved shapes. So once you click on saved shapes here, the benzene is saved. So in case in future solution, if you want to use that structure, we can use directly use it from here. So now I'm deleting this benzene structure. So now I'll draw how to draw this pentane and three methyl but one in and but one in structures by using this chemistry block tool. First I'll draw the Pentane. To draw the structure pentane, click on this add or edit bonds icon. So here, uh, place the cursor over here. Just right click on your mouse. So a green color circle will appear. If you move the mouse, a single bond will come. So this single bond, we can rotate this single bond in 360 degree angle. So for example, if you want to draw the bond in 45 degree angle, just place the in 45 degree angle and right click on your mouse. So a single bond will come. If you want to connect an another bond to the single bond, just place the cursor here and right click on your mouse and move the cursor and click again. So you'll get an another connected bond. So in the same way, we'll draw structure of pentane. So this is the structure of pentane. Now I'd like to add, write the name of this by using this insert text. Click on this insert text, write the name, double click on it, delete the label, pentane. So now if you want to move this pentane structure from one place to another place, what you have to do is select this structure, click on this group, group the structure by clicking on this icon. So it is grouped now. So we can move the structure from one place to another place. So we need another structure of pentane. If we want another structure of pentane, instead of drawing the pentane structure again, just copy and click on paste. You'll get another structure of pentane. So if you want to re-edit this structure pentane, so just click on this ungroup. So to re-edit the structure, first we need to ungroup this structure. Click on this ungroup. So now it is ungrouped. So if you want to add a bonds to this structure, click on this add or edit bonds icon. So place the cursor over here. Now I'd like to add a methyl group here. Place the cursor over here. Just right click on your mouse. And again, right click. You'll get a bond here. If you want to delete this bond at a terminal bond, click on select. Just select this bond and click delete. 
so now if this single bond this is a single bond if you want to change this single bond to a double bond so click on go to the bond type icon so here we have a different types of double bonds are there so if you click on double bond the normal double bond will come so if you click on a double bond right so the bond will comes to the bottom side of the single bond so if you click double bond left so the sing, double bond will come above the single bond so for vertical bonds uh, it will come to the if you click double bond left it will the double bond will comes to the left side if you click double bond right it will comes double uh, on the right side of the single bond for uh, horizontal bonds and uh, zigzag bonds if you click a double bond left then it will comes to the upper side of a single bond top and bottom side so in this way we can draw the double bond now we need to write the name of this structure this is the 3 methyl butene to write the name click on this insert text double click on it methyl but name want to group this structure click on this uh, group now it is grouped so if you want to draw the another and there's structure of now if you want to draw the structure of but 19 just copy this structure and paste now I'll edit structure so ungroup it now change this double bond to a triple bond select this double bond and go to this bond type icon click on this triple bond now remove this single bond select this single bond delete so now click and change the orientation so this is the structure of but 19 to write the name click on this insert text double click on it but 19 so in this way we can draw the different structures so the next one is how do we draw the lewis structures now i'll show the show the lewis structure of nitrate ion so for that what i have to do this first click on this insert chemistry block icon here first we need to draw bonds click on this add or edit bonds draw straight horizontal bond connect another bond to this horizontal bond place the cursor here right click on your mouse and move the cursor and right click again now we need to add atoms on these bonds to add atoms click on select icon place the cursor here double click on it now write oxygen so here in between place the cursor here double click and write nitrogen so here double click write oxygen now change this single bond between nitrogen and oxygen to a double bond select this single bond and go to the bond type icon and select double bond so now the single bond is changed to double bond now we need to add lone pair electrons on these atoms to add lone pair electrons first click on the select and select this oxygen atom to add a lone pair electron on oxygen atom click on this add an electron pair icon if you want to add an another lone pair click again you'll get an another lone pair so the second lone pair on left or right side it is not clearly visible so to move this lone pair place the cursor on that lone pair hand symbol will come right click and move this lone pair to the bottom side now add a lone pair on nitrogen select the nitrogen atom click on insert a lone pair add an electron pair icon now add lone pairs on oxygen atom 
So now we need to add a negative charge on oxygen atom. To add a negative charge, click on this insert text icon. Double click on it. Extend a little bit. And move this negative charge to this oxygen atom. So this is the Lewis structure of uh, nitrate ion. So if you want to remove a lone pair, how do we remove lone pair on atoms? To remove a lone pair on atoms, just select this atom. If you want to remove the lone pair on oxygen atom, select the oxygen atom. Place the cursor on the lone pair that you wanted to re remove. So hand symbol will come and click and move away, drag away. So in the same way, if you want to remove a lone pair on nitrogen atom, select the nitrogen and place the cursor on the lone pair. Hand symbol will appear. Right click on your mouse and drag away. So in this way, we can remove the lone pairs on atoms. So the next one is how do we draw the wedge and hashed structures and Fisher projections? So for that, click on this. Uh, insert a chemistry block icon. 